Hello, my dear friends, by the greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Dr. Viktor Fursov. I am a research entomologist, beekeeper and teacher. I am zoologist and I am studying insects. And science is about insects. This is entomology and about animal zoology. I'm working at the Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, which is located in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. If you are just Coming to my channel at the first time, welcome to watch different videos about entomology, about insects, including sometimes about honeybees, about insects in the nature, in the field conditions, in the, at the laboratory conditions, under the microscope, and also at my kitchen conditions, where I can show you some insects in cages, alive, like how they are crawling, how they are running around, and about and uh, I talk a little bit about their behavior. So they show me different uh, behavior in different situations. So if you are belonging to English speaking community or English understanding community, that's the most important. Because uh, I was watched by friends and colleagues and amateurs who like insects and who likes nature from 50 countries. So not all countries are English speaking, but many countries are English understanding. So that's why you are welcome. Even some people also insisted me to speak more in English rather than in other languages, because it's better for them to understand. And of course, you can read some explanations about insects, which I am giving after. I recorded my recorded video. I recorded videos originally on my camera and on my telephone at the present moment. And I'm depositing this video on YouTube. It's just free of charge, so you can enjoy it yourself. If you like dragonflies, if you like honeybees, if you like wild bees, if you like different arthropods, or just invertebrates like an octopus. So many people enjoy different types of animals, not only big animals like dogs and maybe cows, pigs, horses, or just some uh, like reptiles or frogs. Some people enjoy small creatures like insects, insects, and people, and they have a lot of advantages, advantages. You can keep them at home safely if you keep safe insects, of course, not poisonous. Some people enjoy keeping Poisonous ver and vertebrates like scorpions, scalapandras, and sometimes poisonous spiders. I do not appreciate the hobby like that. I'm talking mostly about not poisonous insects, not venomous insects. Sometimes I'm speaking about, for sure about honeybees, but they are just stinging insects. And some hornets, they are also stinging insects. So I, do sh I did different videos about them in the laboratory conditions in the field when I recorded video of hornets just outside of city of Kiev because in the city of Kiev I was invited some several times to remove hornets nests so I used this opportunity to record funny video about them first couple times I didn't record because it was quite hard to accustom to this situation how to get rid hornets but later I recognized how to do it. I was afraid about my equipment. No, my equipment was very well. So I was pretty well dressed. So it was rather safe. At least at once. Uh, hornets tried to sting me. But I have not been stung. Not once. During this careful removal of hornets nest. And some other small size wasps. But this was another story. Today we will be talking about such kind of insects as beetles, about beetles. I will show you my original video, which I recorded in the summertime, in June, in July. So, usually if you are living in a city, you have opportunity to watch, to what? Just to walk around to your apartment with do your dog. Or maybe just to walk to your closest park or just forest, meadow, just a close river or stream. So, if you are interested in insects, you can always use different ca small cages with you. And in this cage, you can collect some living organisms, some living creatures, maybe some invertebrates, and maybe some beetles. Beetles are the most commonest insects which you can collect and you can find around your 
apartment house, even in a city, in any urban conditions, in any city you can find them. So let's, especially in the springtime when all insects are just wakening up, when we all insects just waked up from the long time hibernation. So uh, that's why all entomologists are waiting for the time of a spring. April time, May time is a beautiful time. Then in summertime is becoming hot time, a little bit more difficult for observations. But nevertheless, springtime is the best for nature, natural observation in the natural environment on some plants or on ground, and sometimes for collecting, actually. Yes, entomologists do it. So let's go to this zoo, which I just present to you, because if you collect your insects in small cages, you will have small zoo at your kitchen, at your house, in your dining room. Just be careful with your parents. But nevertheless, we will appreciate your interest if you show them just small, tiny, interesting details of behavior. If you can explain what these beetles are doing, why they are crawling, what we are trying to eat, how to feed them, so you can feed them as a pets. So, and we will tell you some interesting stories. Yes, let's go to this first story about beetles which are sitting on this r green leaf. And who are them? They are belonging to different families. Taxonomically, they are different. They are belonging to different species. Left side in the angle, there is a beetle which is belonging to the family Cantaridae. Cantaridae, or soldier beetles. There are some soldier bugs, but soldier beetles. Also, now in the left place, this is a click clicking beetle of a family Elateridae. Dark colored beetle. And in the center time, this is a beetle be belonging to the family Coccinellidae. Coccinellidae. Acherontia atropos. Acherontia atropos, this is what? This is a dead, mo dead head moth. But this is Ac Axiridis. Harmonia axiridis. You know, sounds like that. Harmonia axiridis. Harmonia axiridis, Asian, Asian bug. So what's, who is on the left side? Small beetle who is just tra crawling. This is a leaf beetle, small one. Chrysomelidae and also laid small uh, yellow egg. Again, Harmonia axiridis. Yes, this is one. Very common, very common, very common. Green chrysomily the beetle in the springtime feeding on some very common weeds which is grow which are growing everywhere. And probably even this leaf, this is leaf of polygonium, polygonium, polygonium genus. So they like to eat this be this e leaves and also will start lay eggs if you collected some females, fat, fat, very fat females. So we will lay eggs even in captivity easily. Now in the central part, you see, I show you with my forceps. I show a beetle which is belonging to weevils, family weevils. So here you see here, here a huge crowd of different beetles. So that's why I can explain different families. Weevils family, Curculeanidae. Here this is another soldier bug on the right side. Soldier bug, Pyrocorysopterus, Pyrocorysopterus. On the right side again. Uh, weevil, plum weevil, which was e eaten on bugs, on buds of plum. Again, big one. This is a elateridic clicking beetle. Between them, between the red bug and elateridic beetle, there is a beetle with open legs belonging to the family Scarabidae beetle. Scarabidae beetle. And the, on the upside side, Beetle belonging to the family of ground beetles, Carabidae. Car and who is the biggest one? Someone biggest is carrying just two creatures. R a red bug and also ground beetle just escaped. And this beetle was is well known and belonging to the family Lucanidae and genus Dorcus. Dorcus, stag beetle. Very small size stag beetle. They're also appearing not from the soil, they are hiding usually in the cut trees, somewhere under the bark. So 
so we are hibernating as beetles, as adults. So this is again soldier beetle, two soldier beetles. They are predators, so be careful about them. If you keep a couple beetles, small one and a big one, soldier beetle will attack smaller one and you can feed on them because soldier beetle of Cantarid family, Cantarid, Cantarus, these beetles were predators, so predaceous behavior. So we were feeding on flowers, on some liquids, but larvae and adults were predaceous, feeding on some other insects, smaller size insects. Harmonia xeridis on the right side. Again, Pyrochoris apterus, soldier bug, just on the down part of screen. Cantarid beetle in the center. So, and uh, two of them, two cantarid beetles. They're flying very well, so sometimes we're sitting very quietly on flowers and we're trying to catch them. We just fly very immediately out, um, instantly just escape. So it's quite difficult to collect them, or rather difficult. And here, this in the central part, this is clicking beetle. Why he is clicking? Because very well known beetle. If you put the, this beetle on your palm, on your palm, just on the back, this beetle will click and turn back and can fly quickly if it is uh, daytime or hot temperature, high temperature, or just evening time because they are flying usually in the evening. In this, now in the central part, this is Cantarid, no, Carabita beetle, round beetle, who was carrying just small ladybug, Asian ladybug. And with this one, I show the for, by forces, so this is a Carabita beetle, round beetle. Again, small ones, the smallest, smallest, smallest belonging to the leaf beetle. This is smallest belonging to weevils, Curculanide, Curculanide beetle. Small weevil, again Curculanide. And here, this is a Chrysomelide, yellow one. This is another specimen of an Asian ladybug of a different colors. Asian ladybug, of, which is named Harmonia axiridis. May have a different variations in colors from yellow, pale, reddish, and then just with dark spots and even completely dark or with a couple spots, a couple of red spots. So this is a this was I used just a petri dish. Of course, it's more important to put a little bit food, like few leaves, and just to avoid the just so for a little bit for protection of beetles because otherwise we will touch each other and sometimes predators will have a very sharp mandibles and can cut antennae or just even legs of other smaller beetles so here I put them just for short time just for period of a recording so we have not been wounded and damaged between them so when I release them at the outside of the natural conditions so better do not keep them all together, otherwise predators will be feeding on small phytophagous insects, like small leaf beetles of Chrysomelide family. They are completely helpless, they cannot protect themselves, they are very soft, soft body, soft abdomen, and so predators like carabida beetles, round beetles, which can cut their body just with their mandibles quite easily. So, and of course, use the food, just sucking them completely. And so we can, can instantly kill them, for sure. And of course, the strongest from the surface, this is a stag beetle or Dorcus on the left side. You see the biggest one, biggest one is the Dorcus or Lucanide family. So no one can touch him or it, if you put several stag beetles sometimes they can be fighting and the biggest can cut the leg or antenna of the smallest. So thank you for watching for this first story and now we can continue. Okay here I can show you my email my G email on Gmail so if you want to connect me ask question so you can send it on my email. And now I can show you the continuation for continuation again another story about beetles here I put them again in the petri dish petri dish this is a dish about 10 15 
centimeters. So not too many beetles, but so this was, was after one, two days of collecting beetles. So many specimens were collected, some of them predators, so predaceous behavior, and most of them just phytophagus, so they're not so aggressive between them, so not aggressive, so they cannot damage each other. But bigger one can damage others. The biggest here is the chaffer, flower chaffer, green one in the upper upper left side, upper left uh, corner. So now I can show you them just under a bigger magnification. So here, st let's start to magnify the picture. Okay, so here are the biggest. Who is sitting on the upper? On the upper side, these are beetles of a family Curculianidae weasels. Hello to Artem, hello to Artem and to other viewers. Another one is a round beetle of carabid beetle, larva, left side larva of a ladybug. On the left side just were running again in the center here. One, two, three different funny larvas of a Grisomini coccinellidae beetle of, or ladybugs. So, because they were collected on leaves and they are hunting for aphids, for sucking aphids. They have a different setter. They are more or less well protected against ants because ants can damage them because they are hunting for the same prey. Aphids, coccinelli, they are hunting for aphids for some small sucking insects like leaf hoppers. Tiny. Who is here again? Oh, right here we have on the right side one big black beetle, which is Belloni. I guess so. This is Sylphidae family, Karen beetle. It should be Karen beetle or, or Darkland beetle. Big one on the right side. This is a round beetle. This is most active. Carabida beetle, predator, but Karen beetle. It's also partially, partially predator can eat uh, or mostly eating just damaged. Oh yes, here you see, you see, you see you, what happens. What happens here? Just the fighting, not fighting, just predator. Ground beetle just attacked very tiny, small. Curculanida weevil. Of course, weevil is completely helpless. Has a very tiny mandibles and. Weevil is a phytophagus, so one or two small uh, weevils have been damaged during this observation because carabidae were very hungry. So now we are hungry and trying to attack larva of a ladybug. Larva of ladybug. Maybe we found just small aphid, but attacking this ladybug because she is very soft and it's good enough to be prey for such strong predator as a carabid beetle. So. This female or male female, she's using just very strong mandibles just to cut the hitting on the surface of this very soft, very soft but hairy larva of a ladybug. You see on the upper side, upper right side, this is a weevil. All right, and this, and this weevil, and this larva cannot escape because she's just attached. She just attached to the leaf. Again, again, attack, again, attack to the tiny little wheel. Yes, because this larva just attached, prepared for pupation. She still didn't start, didn't pupate, but already cannot escape because she attached by the top of her abdomen to the leaf. And Beetle has recognized it very well, but Lara cannot escape. So she's uh, trying to attack. Uh, yes, yeah, because another one on the left side, Lara, is more active. Can uh, slowly, can slowly escape from this aggressive beetle. But pre pupa, just very slow moving pupa, pre pupa of a ladybug cannot escape. So that's why she was under a hard attack of round beetle. And uh, yes, here is with a flower chaffer. Flower chaffer, very big green beetle, which is feeding on flowers, 
and then flower pollen and feeding on nectar and flow of pollen and flying sometimes in the summertime or the late spring and maybe already lost also a couple segments of legs in captivity or maybe in the natural conditions I guess maybe in natural condition because she's uh, this beetle is flying everywhere just many many predators like birds trying to attack them because this beetle is flying with a great noise with a great noise and very visible so quite big one and flying in daytime not in evening time making kind of noise which is sometimes irritating and surprising Elytras are not open during its fly, but second pair of wings are very well used for the flight. So flight is very active. So in different directions, it's quite difficult, rather difficult, not so easy to find, to collect it. You can notice it, but to collect it, you must be very, very active and cunning to understand it, to which direction the beetle is flying and to catch it accidentally, usually. Or just when it's coming to the flower, it's just stopping flower and sitting on flower so you can collect it on flower much easier, easily. Again, two individuals of a round beetles, just were talking between them, small weevils, just one of them escaped from the cage, but do not run around, sitting just outside in a safe condition from the, this beetle, round beetles. And here, uh, here is this beetle of the family Dermestide, Dermestide, which are just pests of different products and liver, liver. And here, yes, two individuals sometimes, were, in many cases, were eating dead bodies of different animals outside. So when they hatched, they're crawling around, searching for food, for the place for females of your position. So they're not very small, they're about one centimeter or less, but they have just so a little bit semi-rounded, semi-rounded body, quite hard illiterous, but uh, they're not predators, so they cannot kill other insects, but they can eat some dead bodies of a dead insects. And of course, they lay eggs on dead animals like dead pigeons or dead sparrows maybe just laying on the ground so this way this is a very famous the most suitable convenient food for them so all right so we found here dermestid beetles and also one of beetle of dark and darkling beetle is hidden somewhere darkling beetle belonging to the family tenebrionida probably left side here the central this is elateride beetle clicking beetle and darkling beetle was just under the petal of flower. Again, I put some petals of flowers for protection of beetles between them, and just maybe some can use as a food a little bit for moisture, eating this kind of moisture. And also again here, this in the center, biggest one, this is a Dorcus genus, or stag beetle, and we're sitting on them, on him, on the body of this small round beetle. A round beetle cannot damage this big stag beetle, which is the most well protected. Again, 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 smallest, small, small, very tiny, curculianidae, we weevil is helpless. Yes, very aggressive, very aggressive. Carabid beetle, round beetle, very aggressive, trying to attack, and finally just attacked and ate a couple in specimen yes yes very soft very soft weevil in opposition to the very active and aggressive round beetle so that's why i try to put it in the same cage only species of it same species specimens of the same species or at least phytophagous insects separately from predators so here i can show you only the behavior but in reality, if you keep them for day or night, strongest beetles will be feeding on the weakest. So weak, like these weevils, will not survive it completely. Even if you give them food, like some flower petals or some leaves, they can eat leaves, but they cannot protect themselves against 
Scarabid beetles. Only the strongest, so Scarabid beetles and Lucanidae beetles oh, cannot, can protect themselves. This tiny ladybug, Harmonia axiridis, just tried to, to pretend to be dead. She is not dead, but she is just hiding, protecting itself against these ground beetles, which are the most aggressive and active. Here, this darkland beetle, darkland beetles of a family, Tenebrionide, Tenebrionide, or oh. all oh, this. Yes, yeah, we've seen on on, a, on this body, larva of ladybug. This black and black and yellow colored larva of ladybug. And pupa, and also pupa of ladybug. This is already a pupa, which detached from the leaf. Uh, you see, this is a pupa, which is moveless, can move a little bit, not again in the center. This is a darkling beetle. Dark, very, very interesting structure. Quite strong, illiterous, more or less uh, well protected, and sometimes can possible to collect them just on the concrete, just crawling around, or just on the ground, between the grass, because we're just emerged from the soil, from the ground, crawling around. Oh, well protected. No, well protected against ground beetle. So ground beetle is not interested in such strong beetle like the Nibrionid beetle, which is well protected and can, can survive. And this is a Dermestide beetle. Dermestide beetle, you see, showing us on the right side, antenna, legs, legs and very tiny antenna. So here, probably with the female, with, which is showing a little bit ovipositor on the top, was shown. Yes, here on the upper side, this is a Lucanide beetle, Stach beetle, and, and big chaffer beetle, flower chaffer beetle on the, the back. But don't worry about beetles if they're on the back, we can use the natural opportunity to turn around. But but for this chaffer beetle is more difficult because this chaffer beetle lost its legs under the natural conditions, I guess. I didn't made it, so I have not seen who made this damage, probably some birds. Some birds. And you see here some Tizanoptera, tizano, Tizanora, Tizanora was a very, very small insect, was in the center but just disappeared, on the, was sitting on the petal. Again, Curculanida weevils, small round beetle in the center, and coming larva, larva, larva of ladybug. Yes, 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 very easy to, to come on and very safe. It's not the same as connection with a round beetle. Round beetles are just huge hunters, huge hunters, very aggressive one. And here this uh, big one, chaffer, another species of scarabidae beetles with a long, long stick on the end of a, on the tip of a body. This is ovipositor. Usually they are collected in the springtime, in the late of May, beginning of June. So if on flowers, they are very easily collected on flowers, or sometimes they are crawling on the ground. So this is a short review for the different family. Uh, here this tizan, Tizanura. So this is a windless insect. Tizanura, very soft one, very active. You can collect them and find in a in your bathroom, in the toilet, even sometimes in the kitchen, or usually in a in the summertime, even on a balcony. So not so well protected against round beetles, but I put them to, together just for comparison of different orders of insects. So this is was a tizanora. On the top is sitting darkling beetle, then left side withel. Curculanide beetle, big one, this is a Lucanide, stag beetle. On the downside, this is a Carabi Carabide, or round beetle. And of course, you can recognize left side, 
This is Click Beatles. Click Beatle. Elateridae family. Elateridae family. Which can fly very well. Not only click very well, but also fly very well, especially in to twilight time after the sunset. So you can find them just flying near some trees or just crawling on the bark of trees in twilight time after sunset. No, in daytime we're just hiding somewhere under the bark. So these are different beetles which I want to show you. The funniest of them, of course, here, I guess, was a darkling beetle like this one. Darkling beetle had a very interesting illiterus. One illiter was a little bit damaged. You see, we smashed a little bit. Maybe also after just connections with predator like bird, or maybe just in many cases they're crawling on the ground and people just put their foot on different beetles sometimes in many cases just kill them just occasionally so many beetles are dying just on concrete occasionally but in some cases many beetles just dying just in these conditions just when we are walking around concrete roads by cars and by people even some some boys will try to kill such wonderful beetles intentionally just saying oh this is a beetle let's crash it so please don't do it so this is not a normal and clever behavior to kill such wonderful beetles but at least to watch for them in the plastic cage to enjoy their behavior, enjoy how they're crawling, how they're trying to escape, and finally give them, them freedom. When you give them freedom, we will be very happy to escape from your cage and go either running or flying out. So put them away from the balcony, so we will appreciate it very much. Even some pests, which can come to some houses, like Dermestida beetle, we can escape, we will do the cleaning job, we are cleaning job, we are cleaning different dyed animal skins outside the roads, somewhere in the ground, and laying on the ground, so that's why otherwise some dyed animal, small one or big one, cannot be disintegrated without such very useful and important burn beetles, silphide, Sylphidae beetles I show you, or Karen beetles I show you like next time. We are not here. But Dermestida beetles using also skin of different dead animals for food. We are also cleaning the ground from a different dead animals. So again, right side stag beetle, round beetle, two round beetles and Flower chaffer, flower chaffer, big green beetle, and this one darkling beetle. Here two weevils and small and bigger one. This is a dermestida beetle. Dermestida beetle. Family dermestida. Please don't release them only in house because we can search sometimes for food and it's not good to keep the, them in the house. We can damage also some insects collections. So these are different interesting beetles. Thank you for interest from Vladimir, from Artyom, and other viewers who will come here later. Thank you for coming. Looking forward to see you on my channel again. And don't forget to visit my Patreon page. Small donation even. One dollar is very well appreciated. You can find the button join under this video. Thank you for interest. Vladimir, I'm, I will show you maybe just wood lices next time. You ask me about wood lices. So if you keep ordinary species of wood lices, it's interesting if you keep tropical species, write me. If you keep tropical species of wood lices. I have a certain number of ordinary wood lices which were growing 
slowly during half of year. And now I have a big size wood lice is about one centimeter. So easier to show them. And so their behavior not very well studied, but easy to show them because they are not so quick to, es to escape. So they are sitting quietly and peacefully. So thank you for coming. Subscribe to my channel, press like and write your comments, ask your questions. Thank you, Lucky Bat, for interest. Looking forward to see you as my subscriber, as a new viewer. And I had even the story number three, but I will show you the story number three next day. <laughs> so otherwise, uh, to make different stories, not all stories during the one day. Thank you for coming. Looking forward to see you on my channel. And don't forget, Ukraine forever. We are fighting for freedom and independence. For freedom, for will and for pride of Ukraine. Thank you for coming. Best wishes for our supporters of Ukraine. Thank you. We will keep up. We do not want to give up. We must keep up. Thank you. Ukraine forever. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye bye. See you soon on my channel. Good luck. Bye bye. Subscribe, press like and visit my Patreon page for donations. Why not? Small help of one dollar is really appreciated if you visit Patreon page or PayPal. Thank you for coming. Bye bye.